sequence is inserted, all of which can be found in HIV sequences through a search on GenBank. Xi Zhengli discredited those observations, although she never denied the existence of the four inserted sequences. However, scientists probing GenBank found that there were only three viruses containing all sequences. The first is the HIV virus itself. The second is a bat coronavirus discovered by Xi. And the third is this new Wuhan coronavirus. We've done this kind of work for now 40 years for me. There's the sequence analysis and comparison of the virus of the SARS-2 COVID-19 apparently has genes that come from other human and other species, including some envelope, the GP41 from HIV. What is the HIV's GP41? The answer I found online describes GP41 as a protein of HIV that acts as the key to infecting human bodies, resulting in the functional failure of the immune system. If the discovery by Judy and her colleagues are established, it would mean the infectious part of the Wuhan virus, the S protein, incorporated the sequence of the HIV key protein. This made me think of the immunodeficiency symptoms in people infected. They were doing research on a human transmittable coronavirus that was actually published in a paper. So this is research that they actually published. They were working on developing a coronavirus for the human host, which you know leads you to question, why would you be creating a coronavirus that can infect humans? What would be the purpose of that research? Is it, is it for a weapon? Is it so that you can then create a vaccine that you are the sole recipient of the profits from? The Chinese have full access to our databases. They have full access to all that research that comes out. They have full access to all our universities who train their scientists. And they have full access to our scientists, like was, you know, with the recent indictment of the uh, head of the chemistry department at Harvard. I mean, this is a thousand talents program. Tens of thousands of, of the most, uh, of the world's most brightest people in all of these different um, areas that are going to China to help them with their programs. And all of these programs, as you know, have a dual use capability. Beijing's attacks on the United States, which have occurred for weeks and weeks, are really worrying. What it shows is that China is desperate, and the United States needs to defend itself, because China is propagating this narrative that we spread the coronavirus to China. So the United States needs to just come out with the facts about how China took coronavirus samples from Canada and the United States. They sent them to Wuhan. We don't know exactly what went on in that lab there at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, but it's time for the United States to defend itself. Zhang Li and her team released a paper stating the Wuhan coronavirus was of probable bat origin. This was published in Nature on February 3rd. The paper indicated that the Wuhan virus utilized the same key as SARS to gain entry into the human body. She also announced the 2019 NCOV genome sequence was 96.2% consistent with a bat coronavirus originating in Yunnan, China, called RATG13, signaling a natural source of the Wuhan virus. However, Xi Zhengli's natural origin assertion was doubtful. The outbreak occurred in Wuhan, the same location as the P4 laboratory where she was based and which housed highly similar viruses. Common sense would lead the government to first inspect the P4 laboratory for any leakage incident and potential safety concerns. Instead, they shifted public attention from the P4 laboratory to the South China Seafood Wholesale Market that sold no bats and designated it as the origin of the disease. At the same time, authorities sealed off all virus samples prevented international experts from joining the investigation, and used national television to slander doctors such as Li Wenliang, who disclosed the outbreak for spreading rumors. If the Wuhan virus indeed emerged naturally, why would the CCP need to censor relevant news or block investigations? Could the Wuhan P4 laboratory have its secrets? Virus samples and genome sequences Maybe the exact ingredients we need to find our answers. 
When I first heard of the coronavirus, I was deeply concerned. Almost every disease that starts in China begins in Guangdong province, the province that surrounds Hong Kong in the south. But Wuhan is in the central portion of the country. And so this was extremely unusual. And the fact that it might have started close to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, the P4 Biosafety,